John Hancock. He was born on January 12, 1737. He was born in Braintree, Massachusetts. He went to Gradford Harvard College. He died October 8, 1793 by natural causes. John entered the local politics when he was elected a Boston selectman. The following year, he won election to the Massachusetts Colonial Legislature. Um, why did he sign the Declaration of Independence? He signed it because he wanted to know that the king, known that he signed it, he was putting himself at risk by doing this. The king wanted him. He was a big-time smuggler. If the British won, bad things could happen. He could be charged for treason. His future might be gone. His money, his property might be taken away, etc. Um, the Declaration of Independence is very important because it will show that he signed it and that he was a leader. He did not care what the worst scenario was. He felt that independence was important to the country. Um, he signed it because he was the president of Congress and he was one of the leaders during the crisis that led to the outbreak of the American Revolution. The Declaration of Independence is a statement adopted by the Continental Congress meeting in Philadelphia. The date was July 4th, 1776. It announced the 13 colonies. Um, in the Americans, he was a hero to the Americans, but he was a danger or a threat or a very not good person to the British. Once again, he was a big time smuggler. He was putting himself at risk. His life was very hard. His father died when he was seven years old. It, this might have shaped him in a way to be better and work harder. Um, it might have made him determined. And then he was adopted by his uncle and aunt. We remember John Hancock by the signature and how it was so large. And he wanted the king to know. We also have 4th of July to celebrate the signers. Um, he signed it so large that the other signers had to write so small. If John Hancock was in 2016, I think that he would not, it, he would not change the fact he signed it. I think he would still want the king or president to know that he was worthy of it and that, yeah, he was worthy of it. That's it. Questions for Ms. Gowen for John Hancock? So let's talk about John Hancock as a smuggler. Do um, you think that people here in the colonies thought of him as a smuggler, or do you think they focused on other aspects of his leadership? Um, I think that they focused on the other aspects about him. I don't think they thought of him as a smuggler. Even if they did, could there be some positive aspects to that? I mean, were smugglers good for one side but bad for the other? What type of distinction might they have in their minds, the colonists? Um... Like, maybe they thought of him as, like, a hero because he was, like, putting him, he was making sure, like, the other people got the food and maybe other things that he was smuggling, maybe. So, this is a guy that's um, pretty, pretty important for the Sons of Liberty early on, and he wasn't necessarily worried about the law as much as, say, John Adams was. How come John Hancock didn't go on to become one of our early presidents like some of these other major characters? Because it sounds like he was a really big deal, but he doesn't really have his crack at being president. Did you find any evidence that that was something he was interested in later on? Or? Um, I don't think so. I don't think he was interested in becoming the president.
you tell the audience what you thought the, the main idea of the Declaration of Independence was or the thesis statement? Um, like, say what it meant. Yeah, what's the main idea of the Declaration of Independence? Um, the statement might have been like every male, I mean, every man must be treated equally and not like. I don't know, just equally. Any other questions for Ms. Goins? Yep, in back. Thanks. Uh, when was John Hancock born in January again? Um, he was born January 12th, 1737. We just passed his birthday then. Can you um, step out from the podium and tell the class a little bit about your colonial outfit today and how you put it together? Um, it's pretty awesome. This is my outfit. Um, it has like this big old jacket with like these white things. It's like an undershirt. kind of like sticks out like that. And then tights. I don't know. Tights are kind of weird. And then they have these bulky, like, pants. Yeah, or breeches. Yeah. Would you be comfortable wearing an outfit like this? No. If you had to do it all the time? No. Anybody in the audience really excited about wearing an outfit like this all the time? Very good. Jason is. There we go. Especially if it was made out of something fun like wool. Let's give Miss Goings a round of applause. Thank you very much.